saw that one coming? I did. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Uh, don't pay any attention to my my busted IFTA sticker there. Um, I'm getting new ones with the uh, the new account here. Um, so yeah, everything's live. Uh, this has been a work in progress here. Like I said, it's some other videos, and I've pieced it together. I've dropped some hints here and there. Um, that this was, you know, bound to happen. And like I said, you know, what, what's happened during this year has kind of put the brakes on what I was uh, originally starting to do anyway. So why did I lease on with Alex? Well, there were a few reasons why I leased on with Alex. Um, uh, number one was he needed uh, help with insurance rates. So my history, my driving record pulled down the insurance uh, for him to start doing what he's trying to do now, which is expand. Um, it made it a lot more affordable. He could spend money elsewhere doing that. And I didn't mind that. Uh, why did I go into it? What reason did I have? I was already working somewhere. Well, the biggest thing I wanted to do was grow the channel. So I figured, why not get with the biggest YouTuber there is? I mean, surely some exposure to that. And it did. It worked. You know, went from 148 to over 2,000 subs in a month. Cannot complain about that. So uh, is that the only reason I went? No. You know, I, was, uh, I wanted to see the ins and outs. You know, I, I saw it from certain places. I've been around hotshot drivers for about three years now. And um, I wanted to know before I jumped full on into this that the, the numbers were going to work. You know, I've seen the good numbers. I wanted to see if the low numbers made it happen. If your minimums can make you money, uh, you're doing pretty good. And, I, you know, I saw a lot change throughout this year. You know, I saw it dip really, really, really low. And the numbers still work. So that's all I needed to see. You know, that's that's part of the reason. Like I said before, you know, this was a business move on both ends. So so that's the main reason. And uh, fr from here on out, you know, I'm not riding anybody's coattails. I'm not doing anything like that, you know. And this channel won't be about Toe Piglet or Connected to Alex in any way anymore. We didn't leave on bad terms. Uh, everything's perfectly fine between us. Uh, this was, you know, just like I said, it was a business move. So with that being said... Uh, the, the way that we left was the way that I want to be towards any hotshot company that isn't my own. And that is the networking people. I've, I've stressed a ton about networking, uh, the industry of who, you know, I've had discussions, uh, with a couple of people throughout comments that this isn't the best business to be cutthroat in. You'll get further helping each other out, the networking, the helping each other. And I've offered, I've extended that to Alex. He's extended the same. This industry is too big for one company. This country's too big for one company. Uh, we need to lean on each other. We all can't be every place at the same time. It doesn't matter how big you are. This country is bigger than you. The industry is bigger than you. Uh, when you can start tossing back and forth and, and work cooperatively instead of against each other or trying to down everybody that you come across, uh, that doesn't get you far in business. Now, it will help some succeed, but that's a very limited amount of time before backs are turned on everyone. And, um, and I'm not saying anyone's like that, but I'm, I'm basically just saying I'm not like that. I've, I've, I've kicked loads off to a couple of people, you know, didn't charge them anything. I couldn't cover it, so why not have it covered? That's all I care about. I help somebody out. I help two people out. I helped out a broker or a shipper, and I helped out a driver. That's fine. I don't need any money from that. I'm just glad the load got covered. I couldn't do it, so why would I hang on to it? Why would I try to make money off of it? It's ridiculous. So anyway, yeah, we, we all need to work together. There, there needs to be an understanding across the board that, that the more that we do work together, the more we help each other out, the better this industry will become because it has gotten very greedy, uh, very cutthroat, and it doesn't have to be that way. That's not, that's not helping any of the drivers out. It may be helping people in, in brokerages and you know shipping offices you know, it might be helping their bottom line, but all we're doing is cutting our own legs out from under us. So that, that needs to stop. So yeah, from, you know, from now on out, this, this channel will be exclusively about me. You know, I, I invite all the followers from Toe Piglet, you know, if you guys like what you see or you want a different take on things, uh, Alex and I do conduct business a little bit different. You know, he's got his agenda, I've got mine, that's fine. But when you're, you know, know when you're leased onto somebody, uh, even as an owner operator, your, your direction doesn't matter because it's their company. You're running their numbers. Their decision is the only one that makes a difference. And, um, 
I, I think some people get confused with that and things turn sour and all that, you know, just know that going in, you know, they know that you're going to have to know that too. And if you don't like it, do your own thing or go somewhere else, you know, that's fine. But, but the dog and everybody and, and do, you know what, if somebody wants to run their business the way they want to run their business, let them do it. That's fine. Run yours the way you want to run yours. So essentially I'll wrap this up by saying that this, this is a, this has been a long time coming. Um, I did dive in a couple of times in the semi world. I got burnt really bad once. Uh, there's, there's all lessons to be learned and any experience is experience. It doesn't matter if it's good. It doesn't matter if it's bad. Experience is experience. Remember that. And the thing you want to pay attention to is what you learn from that. If you, if you can turn bad experience into a positive solution, that's, that's good for you. You know, learn from these things, watch other people. You don't have to mimic other people, but definitely watch them. You will learn things just by watching. That's what's so great about YouTube is that you can see things in action that may or may not work for you, but you decide that you can pick that apart. Your thought process going into this is more than anybody can tell you because it's what you take away from it. Not everything on YouTube applies to everyone across the board. Things are very different. It's based on your experience, uh, where you live, where you plan on running, how often you plan on going home. There's all kinds of things out here that don't work for everyone. You know, it's not a one size fits all industry. You have to tailor it to yourself. And the best way to do that is to, to get as many examples as you can and form fit it for you. Then that way you're gonna have the best idea of how you want to run your business initially. Now you're gonna find out what works for you in the long run just by going through the motions. But initially, you want to take apart as many things as you can, find the best that groups into your little category there, and run with it. So that's where we're going to leave it, guys. I appreciate all the attention. I appreciate you guys that have followed me, continuing to follow me. Any newcomers, you know, you're more than welcome to watch. This is going to be, you know, a process. I'm transparent. I'm wide open. I'll show you the numbers here on out from where I've gone as a fresh new MC. Now, this MC is not even a month old. So now you're all going to get to see that process and what I do to get around the limitations for that. So stay tuned, guys. It's going to be great. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.